Murder Mystery Express will be departing in five minutes on track five. Happy Halloween, everyone. Hi. Chicka Cheese. Nice costume, Marilyn. This place is a madhouse. There you go. Yeah. A lot of private party trains. Yeah, One of these times I'm gonna try your private party train. It's a lot of fun and people really get into it. But you better book ahead of time because we fill up fast. I can see that. Whoa! How cool is this? Let me look at this thing. I know, right? It says here this train was built in the 1900s. Whoa. You know, I'd love to do one of these train parties. It's super expensive. All the passengers dress up in old-fashioned clothes and play some sort of mystery whodunit game. Ooh, sounds fun. An evening filled with murder, mirth, and mayhem includes appetizers, prime rib dinner, and drinks. Drinks? Do they got booze? See? That's what I'm talking about, guys. A little train ride, a little class. Get the man a drink. Get the man a drink? Yeah, get the man a drink. Get the man a drink. Get the man a drink. Get the man a... Ooh. Great costume. Are you with the train? Happy Halloween. We out. You're very sweet, and so is yours. <laughs> did you make it? Have again. As a matter of fact, I did. You know, you have a very good eye. <laughs> Please forgive her. She tends to ask a lot of questions. No, not at all. It's fine. How long do you suppose we gotta wait? I don't know. And. 15, 20, yeah, I don't know. Feels like forever. They're gonna get on, then we're gonna get on. Well, you know, the cast always gets on first. Yeah, well, it just feels it like... Shouldn't be long. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. We are now boarding the Murder Mystery Express. Yeah. Welcome. Please, this way. Finally. Hey, hover. This way, madam. Mind the set. Thank you. So glad you could join us. You're looking absolutely lovely. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Oh, thank you. Luther. Yeah. How's it looking? We running out of time? Or you guys need a nap before we get going? All fired up. Waiting on you! All right, just load them up now. We leave in five. Welcome aboard. Please, come in. Find yourselves a seat. We'll be leaving shortly. Make yourselves comfortable. So glad to have you. It's so beautiful. Pretty nice, huh? Uh. Good evening. Good evening.
You know, I have to say that's a fantastic color rouge you're wearing. My company sells it all the time. Really? Absolutely. I, it's not 100% match for your color wheel, but I can see what you were going for. I've got a free sample you can take home with you. It's a perfect blend. I'm Eugene, by the way. I Okay. Have you ever been on one of these before? A train? Yes. Well, not just any train. The murder train. Ugh, can you please not call that that? Antonia doesn't like it when I call it the murder train. She didn't want to come. No? No. My parents couldn't come, so we asked her instead. She's not too happy about that. So, have you? Been on the murder train? No, but my friend is in the production, that's why I'm here. Oh, which one? Dark haired girl at the front? Yeah, that's her, how did you? Extra blush, heavy eyeliner. Eugene. Evelyn. So, who is she playing? You know, I don't know. I just know her character's name is Daisy. See, she wanted it to be a secret. I wonder if she does it. I don't know. I doubt it. But that's the fun part, you know, figuring it out. I take it you've been on one of these before. Uh, yeah, 14 of them. This one's the 15th. 15? <laughs> I can spot the bad guy within five minutes, trust me. I'm rarely wrong. Don't you get tired of seeing the same one? Never. I've been down the East Coast for the last five years selling cosmetics. Anyway, I've seen every show from here to Maine, and they're all a little different. Really? Yeah, uh, my company works with the big theaters, uh, comes with a job, wholesale, new account, stuff like that. Anyway, they give tickets to this stuff all the time, and I'm hooked. The murder, mystery, train. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Excuse me, everyone, gather for a photograph, please. Photo? Oh, photo. Sure. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Sure. Wow, look at that camera. Is that real? Of course it is. Smile. All right, very good. Looking good. Here we go in three, two, one. How's it looking? How good am I in? Luther says we're ready to roll. All cast crew and passengers on board? Boarding complete. I guess we're good to go. Hey, have a great ride. See you on the other side. I'll see you. She's all you, Luther. Nice to meet you. You as well. Oh, this is Antonia and Abigail. Hello. Hi. I, you know, I couldn't help but overhear that you have a friend in the show. I do. But you've not seen a performance. I have not, but when my friend purchased a ticket, I couldn't say no. And you? Not my brother. Uh, he came last year and wanted me to come, but I couldn't, so I made a point to try it this year. And your brother? Hmm? Well, your brother. Oh, uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to come this year, so I came alone. Sorry. No, it's all right. These things happen. You, you move on.
see anything you like. Depends on what's for sale. Cigarettes, cigars, hard candy. Oh, I like candy. Any chance I can order off the menu? I'm afraid you just heard what's available. <laughs> this has to be one of the best meals I've had at one of these things. <laughs> Everything all right? Uh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. I thought I... What? Nothing. <laughs> you sure? I thought I saw a roach on my plate. Pretty sure that's not on the menu. I uh, don't worry. I think well, you're fine. Mine. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll, I'll just let the server know. Um, excuse me. Is everything okay? I uh, I saw a bug on my plate. I am so sorry. We'll get you another plate, okay? James, can you please get beside another plate. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, I'm fine. It's everything's fine. I just um just startled me. You sure you're all right? Yes, I'm fine. Unforgiving, for the soul cannot speak. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the M train. The murder train. A mystery that must be solved and will be. For by the conclusion of this evening, Someone will die. Perhaps more than one who can say. I offer you this introduction so you might be informed for the proceedings. A famous singer, a grand dame of the stage is with us tonight, Miss Catherine Denby. She travels with her biographer, Simon Ratfield. Marcus Daniel, an inventor otherwise unknown, but soon will be, with what he has to offer the world. Daisy Elaine, another dreamer who makes it to the city in search of fame and fortune. What will she find when she gets there? If she gets there. Asher Loeb. A cunning and ruthless industrialist who made his fortune over the backs of those who were willing to break theirs. An individual not to be trifled with. How about you, good sir? Who, me? Eugene Carlson, the scion of Grace Carlson Cosmetics. A man who sets out to create his own path, to build upon greatness, conceive empire, to cast out his net and catch the ocean. Ambitious indeed. What will be his fate this hallowed eve? Whoa. Antonia Gutierrez. A mí no me hables, maldito. Yo no quiero parte de ti. Mira, no, señora. 
La oscuridad solo viene para aquellos que guardan eso. Young Abigail. Daughter of Eleanor and Franklin. How did you find yourself here tonight? What will become of all that you could be, but might not ever? Is this truly your fate? To cast your future with the like of this lot? Not sure what you mean by this lot. Miss Evelyn Hyde. If ever a name were more appropriate for a soul. Here to see a friend? Yes, I am. Are you sure? Why else would I be? Indeed. The manner of secrets lies in the heart of men. Well, then I guess I have nothing to worry about. We shall see, Miss Hyde. We shall see. Don't you agree, Mr. Hall? Silence is golden. Perhaps well advised. All will be outed during the passing of this night. None who came as they are shall leave as they were. There are many resolutions to this journey. Its finale is decided by you. The circumstances surrounding tonight's affair will undoubtedly seem unusual. There will be moments of significant discomfort. Follow it. Embrace it. It will be much easier if you do. Rest assured it's all part of the plan. What is it? Upon my departure, should any one of you need assistance during this mental expedition. I will not help you. I cannot help you. You will all have to solve this mystery to your own accord. Which finally brings us to you, Mr. Jessup. No doubt you were hoping you would be passed by. You sure you want to do this? All will be revealed. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to an evening that shall not be easily forgotten. May each of you find your way to the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start with what we all came here for. At last, the game! that but by whom well the only one who was standing behind him in that doorway before he fell was you did anyone else see anything i might have but it was dark and the lights if you would were all please crazy. Just please keep your seats what exactly do you think you're doing sir i'm taking him to the next car we have a doctor how do we know we can trust you because I'm the only one who wasn't in here. That's why. Come on, give me some help here, hurry up. Let's get him out of here. Come on. I think we're in the show. This is a bad dream.
What exactly are you supposed to do now? Hmm? I might be able to help with that. Can I have your attention, please? I'm afraid that's all the time that we have for our show this evening. If you would direct your attention to the man with the gun, the rest of the night's proceedings will be made clear. I knew it. Um, I'll uh, go get the conductor. No, you won't. Oh, oh. oh right here. <laughs> that's exactly how I'd like to keep it. Take a seat, both of you. Sit. You don't seem to understand, son. A man has been stabbed. It's better than being shot, wouldn't you say? All right, that's enough. You're not part of the show. He's not part of the show. Uh, you're not part of the... Oh. Oh. oh! No. I'm not. Oh, my God, Margaret, are you okay? Hey, stop. Hey, listen. I don't know how much you've had a drink, but, but this isn't funny. There are a lot of people in this car. Hey, Chatterbox, open up your mouth again, and I will blast your teeth out. Shut up, Raymond. And sit down. Shut up and sit down, Raymond. I think this is real. Indeed it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is a robbery. It is very uncomplicated. And while we find ourselves in a bit of a whodunit, I can assure you that this act will be very straightforward. You will take out your valuables, you will hold them in your hand, and when I arrive at your location, you will put them in this bag. Do you understand? Am I making myself clear? Good. Let's start with you, princess. Take off the necklace, the earrings, put them in the bag. No. I'm not gonna ask you again. Why? I mean, it's just, just glasses, just cheap costume jewelry. Really? <laughs> and you won't mind part ah! Leave her alone. <gasps> no, 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 please don't kill me! Wait! Now, you don't need to do that. Everyone is going to cooperate. Really? It's not what it looked like to me. He panicked. You don't need to shoot anybody else, okay? She just didn't want to take it off. She will now. You hear that, lady? He says you're good at taking instructions now. Take them off. Put them in the bag. Please, Catherine. Please, Catherine. Oh, I think you're next. I like those pearls a lot. Please, these were my mother's pearls. Oh, no. Hey, okay, now the necklace. <laughs> Jesus Christ, lady, <laughs> stop! Now you got what you wanted. Just let the woman go. I don't know. I see about 20 more passengers to go through. That's not what we agreed. Plans change. Just go up front and tell them to stop the train so we can get off. I don't think you understand the situation, Thomas. I don't think you do. <gasps> the hell are you doing, Thomas? Stopping you from hurting anybody else. I don't think you want to do this, Thomas. You're right. I don't. Ain't nothing more useless in this world than a man with no balls. Take his gun, baby. Told you he was a coward. Have a seat. I got this. Go up and talk to Luther. You sure? Sorry, man. All right, everybody. Move to the back three tables, slowly. Do it now! 
Come on. Go on. It was you. That's how we knew about my diamonds. Everybody knew. You bragged about it before every show. You're a liar. We all know they're real. They're worth a fortune. That's why we're here. Well, you didn't have to rip them out of my ear. Should have handed them over. You are such trash. You know, you may have my jewelry, but you will always be a small time loser. Catherine, don't call me that. I'm sorry, are we friends now? Margaret, please pick up the bag and collect the other passengers' valuables. No, I am not helping you. You are awful. <laughs> so it's your act. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Somebody keep her quiet. It's okay. Just listen to my voice. Just listen to my voice. I said, tell her to shut up. She's upset. You just killed someone in front of her. Maybe I'm not done. I'll do it. I'll do it. Just, just give me the bag. It's okay. It's okay. Marker 21 will go easy. That'll give us some time to slow down before the bluffs. You go there? Yeah. Gonna need you to stop the train. Everything goes nice and easy. This all be over in a minute. Just stay calm, everybody. Do what she says. Do it now. All right. You sit tight. Do it. Hand it over. What was that? It like gunfire. It's not your problem. Everybody stay put. Marker 21's coming up. What? The curve. What are you talking about? Paulson's bluff. If we don't slow down for that, off we go. Would you what? Does it matter? Gigi, we have to stop now. Shut your mouth! Ma'am, I promise you, if you do not let me stop this train, we are all going to die. You think I'm stupid? No, ma'am. You'll be dead as well. Clyde's got it. You can't expect us to just sit here. Shut up! We've got to move. I said sit down. We've got to get to that next car. Why? Because we are moving too fast. And I think we would have a much better chance if we move to the back, and I think we should do it right now. Everybody, come on, let's go. Move, move to the back. Nobody car, is going on, anywhere. Oh! Everybody move, move back, move back now. Move to the next car. Come on, go, 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 go.
that you? Again? We need to get out of here, now! Abigail? Are you okay? Lucy, answer me, are you okay? Oh, I hit my head. All right, we need light. I said we need lights. Does anyone have light? Please, we need light. I'm trying. Lucy, answer me, huh? See anything. Lucy, I'm gonna come for you, but you gotta talk to me, okay? You have to answer me. I can't see you. All right, keep talking. Here I come, all right? Okay, I'm coming to you, but you gotta talk to me, okay? Abigail. Antonia. Abigail. Antonia. I'm here. Abigail. Antonia. Uh, are you all right? Are you all right? All right, come this so way. Follow sorry. Me. No, you're okay. Follow me. Okay, right up here. Be careful. We're gonna be okay. I can't see anything. Where are you? I can't see. I'm anything. coming. My head. I'm doing you. My head. Go, go, get my head. Help me with the door. to get out of here. I second that. Are we gonna sink? It's entirely possible. I mean, I'm surprised we haven't already. Thank you, Eugene. That's comforting. Well, at least we're alive. Okay? For now. Ray! Ray, talk to me. Hold me in your eyes. Come on. Ray! Where is everybody? Where's Harry? Where's Dean? Where Ray? Where is the one? Hey, hey, hey. some rest, all right? Get you out of here. Uh, hey, hey. It's on you now. You gotta get us out of here, buddy. Get us out of here. It's up to you. Get us out. Stay with me, Ray. Is there anything we can do for him? Come on! He's lost a lot of blood. We need to get him to a hospital. I'll go. You're not going anywhere. It's your fault we're in this mess. You hear me? We're 
running out of time. Yeah, and whose fault is that, huh? Huh? Does anyone in this car have a single ounce of trust for this piece of shit? Look, I know you're upset. <laughs> you killed all these people! This is all your fault, you son of a bitch! You want to drown, drown in your own filth, you murdering thief, you hear me? Do you see anybody? No. Nothing. Just water. So who can swim? Swim? Doesn't matter. We're all gonna have to. Yeah, but who goes first? No, we're not swimming anywhere. No, we should just stay here. What do you mean? Why can't we all go together? Because we don't know where to go. You said you saw land. How far? Like I said, a hundred yards, maybe more. Like a football field? Jeez, that's just a long way to swim to be wrong. I'm a really good swimmer. Yes, you are, but you are not going to. It doesn't matter who goes. It may not to you. Whoever goes should just take a light with them, you know? Give us something to aim for. Point of reference? What if there's nothing there? Enough! I'm going! <laughs> Keep that light on me. If it goes out, use that one. Okay? Okay. Matthew? Matthew, where are you? What do you see? I can't see him. It's completely dark. Okay, give me the flashlight. Matthew? I see him. Right there. Matthew! How far are you? Hey guys! I think I see land. It's not that far. Matthew, swim back, okay? Swim back now. It's okay, Lucy. I'm coming back. You can do this. Wait! 
Feel my arm. We are going to be okay. We are going to get out of here. Yes? But I'm going to need you to swim. We're gonna swim. No, 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 no I can't swim. Yes, we swim. are. No, we're gonna, I can't we're gonna swim. do it together. I don't know how. We're gonna do it together and you're no. going to swim. No. What we need to do is we need to stay here. Okay, people are gonna be looking Wait. for us. They're gonna know that the train didn't arrive. They're coming. gonna be looking for us. Hey guys. They are. No, we have to go to them, all right? I can't swim. Hey guys. We can do this. Hey! I'm coming! Guys! People are coming to work. Guys! I'm stay here! There's something in the room! Ah! Raymond! Raymond! Got Lucy! No! Lucy! No! Lucy! Raymond! Get out of the water! Where did he go? Where did he go? He just disappeared! Lucy! What was that? Lucy, get out of the water no. right now! Where did he go? He was right
afraid so. Anything? Oh. What do you think that was? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's still out there, and we just have to hope that we swam the right way. It doesn't matter now. We can't go back again if we want to. No. Hey, what you did out there was really brave. Was it? Yes. I'm not so sure. There's something about all of this. Hey. Most people, they, they run when they're confronted by difficult situations, and you didn't. I didn't have another choice. We all have choices. I've seen a lot of horrible things. Did you run? No, but I probably should. We'll find our way back. How? Through there. Okay, wouldn't be my first choice. Nor mine, but it's either that or we swim. Let's go. Just left. What, he he left you. He just dove under the water, and I mean that was it. It's the last time I saw him. Next thing I know, something's pulling me down and shoves me through a window. So I swam. I mean, it had to be him, right? It sure as hell wasn't it? What was that? Where were you? I thought you left. I'm so glad you're back. I told you I wouldn't. I've never been so happy to be so wrong. How's your leg? It's okay. <gasps> Antonia! Top of oh. Evelyn, where are they? Where'd they go? Doesn't matter, let's just go in. Yeah. Doesn't look like anyone's been here for a while. Let's look for a light. Find a phone. It's just me.
is this place? I don't know. Give me the light. check over here. Hey, Abigail, stay with me. I'm fine. Abigail? What? I'm fine. Sorry. I used to eat these as a kid. Bon appetit. How long are we going to run from this thing? As long as we can. It should be safe here. At least for a little while. That's just it. We can't run forever. There's got to be some way to stop it. And what if there isn't? What if this is just the way it ends? I almost didn't go tonight. Not the train? Yeah. I almost didn't go. <sighs> it might have been. Choices we make, huh? <laughs> Choices. Catch up with you. <laughs> Seemed like it was important. It is. Someone special? A reminder. Whenever there's something I don't feel like I can do or get through, I look at it and then I know that I can. Well, you might need to take a look at it now. Where's Eugene? He was out there. He's not now.
Eugene? Eugene, are you okay? No. Not if I can help it. But I think that's what she knew. She saw it. Saw it. That's why she let go. Who are you talking about? Antonia. Just let go. Maybe that's what we have to do. I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. And I don't believe that she did either. She did. She saw something. Hey. Whatever that thing is out there, it doesn't get to make that decision. Do you hear me? Our lives are our own, and we decide when. And what if you're wrong? Thomas? It's not. Abigail? Hey, what are you doing?
There will be moments of significant discomfort. Are we gonna die? Not if I can help. Follow it. Embrace it. It'll be much easier if you do. We can't run forever. It's all part of the plan. What do you mean? Why can't we all go together? Because we don't know where to go. Our lives are our own, and we decide when. What if this is just the way it ends? We'll find our way back. You need to send help. There's been an accident. Where? Paulson's Bluff. There, there should be a wreck. I, I don't know if there are survivors. Are you saying a wreck from a train? Yes. Hang on, I'm gonna write this down. You're wasting time. You have to send help. I'm gonna need you to calm down, okay? I've already called for help. I've understood. You don't understand. Something attacked us. One by one, it took us. What took you? Took you where? I don't know. Away. Okay. You call? Whoa. Yeah, uh, we have a situation. What's going on? Sit tight, relax. I will be right back. No, no, no. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. I'm not going to leave you. I'm just going to step outside. I'll be right on the other side of that door. There is something out there. I don't know what. But it is coming for all of us. What's that? Ma'am, it's all right. You're going to be safe. I'm going to lock the door behind me. I'll be right back. I promise. What's going on in there? Don't know. Found her on the platform. Well, where'd she come from? Said she was in a train accident. She's obviously been through something, but it didn't make sense. We better talk to Manny. Girl comes walking up bruised and battered, claims she was in a train accident. Train? One of ours? That's what she says. Something about a wreck out at Paulson's Bluff. Is this a joke? No, she claims that she and her party were attacked, that there was something out there. She's pretty upset. Call St. Mary's Hospital and ask them to get someone out here. And then call the police. Copy that. Where is she now?
Where are the people she had with her? Gone. Dad, I guess, said she didn't know if there were any survivors. What did she have on her? Nothing. No phone, no ID. Just came in looking like she'd been dragged through the mud. I can tell you what I know, but I don't think I'd be telling you what's going on. I mean, this is going to sound crazy. But there was a train crash, and there was an Evelyn Hyde. What? When? 96 years ago, on this train. This train? The very one. One night in 1922, a train took off from Sunset Station. 56 miles north of the Rio Grande. They were traveling close to 90 and hit a 30 mile an hour curve and derailed. They jumped the tracks and slid on their side down an embankment and eventually plunged into the Arroyo River. There were no survivors. The bodies vanished and they were unaccounted for. Unaccounted? Never found, washed away taken by alligators. Maybe they would have had a better chance if they hadn't gone into the water. The surviving passenger car was eventually dredged up and shipped up here for restoration. And that's what you see here on display, all of it. So if it was a train crash, what attacked them? She was running from something. Yeah. Perhaps from death itself. You're sure you've got a good look at her? Yeah, of course. Why were they going so fast? No one really knows. It's still a mystery. 